Good morning, good afternoon and good evening guys. My name is Deep Churing Lepcha. On behalf of the entire I'm Editor team, welcome to the short video tutorials. In this video, we're going to download and install Packet Tracer and also work with basic router, switch and PC communication. Let's begin. Here we have got a PC and I'm going to use Google Chrome. Just click on it. Go to the URL bar and type in netacad.com right so it opens up the page for netacad.com just click on login and there you can see that Cisco Networking Academy login just type in your username and password as I've got mine just click on login and you're logged in my netacad account right so scroll down a little bit there you can see packet tracer just click on it it's going to open up packet tracer page scroll down there you can see windows desktop version 7.2 english right 32 bit and 64 bit so to view what operating system you are using just go to my computer and right click on pc properties there you can see your operating system is 64 bit op, uh, 64 bit operating system right so i'm going to download 64 bit of packet tracer so click on 64 bit on the left hand side down there bottom down there you can see download has been started click on show all there you can see the file size is 199 mb and it will take around maybe 17 to 18 minutes so bear with me all right done with the download just click on packet tracer okay ignore this one just click on packet tracer just to install it in the system I'm going to minimize this one I'm going to minimize this one as well all right, uh, so you can see over here, just click on I agree, click on next, click on next again, click on next, all the default settings, click next, and just click on finish or install, right? It will take a little bit time to install. So this is how uh, you get your packet tracer, but uh, for your netacad.com, uh, account you have to create Cisco account first that means you have to go to cisco.com right here it's done you can see uh, the icon on the desktop just click on OK and you can launch the packet tracer click on finish here just allow it click on OK there you can see this is the new version of packet tracer 7.2 you can uh, log in with your username and password or you can just click on guest login right it will take around 15 seconds just click on confirm guest here it opens up your Cisco packet tracer 7.2 version down there you can just uh, go for router to select so I'm gonna click over there the folder sign the the folder icon there you can see 1841 series of router right 1841 series then click on there I'm going to select one PC and go to select one switch so I'm going to connect uh, these with our uh, automatic cables just click on it and again select the one and bring it down so there you can see uh, it's connected one router one switch and one PC I'm going to configure my router click on CLI mode there you can see uh, this is the configuration console so um, these my phones are very small so go to options and preference there you can see the font tab 
go to CLI and yes and increase the font size 12 will be fine click on apply close this one click on router over there you can see now a little bit visible right router so you are in uh, use exit mode enable then global configuration mode now changing the host name that means changing the name of the router I'm going to verify the interfaces I have got one interface two and three and four interface fast ethernet zero slash zero i'm going to assign ip address 192.168.1.1 and slash 24 there you can see show ip interface brief my ip address has been assigned but the thing is that my status is administratively down that means i have to turn on the router interface right by typing the command no shutdown see here it's showing green and it was administratively down now let's verify it again to show IP interface brief and there you can see the status is up that means you have to turn on the router interface manually go to PC click on desktop and IP assign an IP address to the PC it's 192.168.1.2 and then default gateway would be the IP address of the router click on close Verify the IP address of the PC with IP config command. There you can see the IP address of, for the PC. And uh, now I'm going to ping to the router interface. It's successfully pinging. Now click on router. Now verify the connection establishment between the router and the PC. See exclamation mark. That means it's uh, totally working fine. So click on the PC there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to ping router with infinite ping. See, it's replying. Now, what I'm going to do is shut down the interface. When I'm uh, shut, uh, when I'm turning down the in interface, it's not going to ping. See, request timed out, right? So there you can see that uh, if something happens wrong with the interfaces or maybe you are turning down the interface it shows that request timed out now I have turned on the interface with the command no shutdown and it will take a little bit time there you can see it's showing amber sign on the switch side but the interface is turned on on the router side it's showing green it will take a little bit time because uh, at the background it's running STP on switch that means spanning tree protocol it will take around 30 seconds just to turn on so it's to on now let's see wait for a while there you can see those are green now the ping is getting successful from PC to router right so this is how you actually install Packet Tracer, download it and do the basic things with the router and PC and switch. Thanks for watching.